So in terms of uh, you actually spoke about the IBDLP and you know how, what exactly is happening with the you know the allocation of funds to the state. You differentiated between uh, development funds and the other you know. Yeah. Do you, can you just elaborate a little no, bit? No, there are two things. One is that we talk about the revenue expenditure. Now, when we talk about revenue expenditure, when we pass the budget, we always take cognizance of the sanction post in every department. Now, when we talk about the sanction post, it also includes the vacancies which have taken place because of the resultant retirement. The resultant vacancies are because of retirement or promotion. What happens to those vacancies? What happens to that money, which is already mandated through the voting in the assembly itself? So that's why I am categorically telling the people to be more analytical and understand what's happening. It's necessary for people to be more analytical, to be more alert and investigative in their approach, to understand what I've said. It is even necessary for media to have investigative journalism and find out and tell the world as to what exactly is happening. You will also recollect number of media reports which revolved around as to how the fund which was available under the Integrated Basin Development and Livelihood Promotion Program was being alleged to have been misused. You know, in the name of appointing number of consultants after consultants, consultants after consultants, and there are lots of issues which also were integrated in those media reports, though some of them may have been views expressed through a letter to the editor, but they are carried in the media. Reflective of what? Reflective of complete cities, of people who are in the handbook of affairs of governance. Therefore, they have to come clean. But the most painful thing is that these money which are with this basin development are meant to ensure sustainable livelihood for our people. Every household across the state. You have seen number of programs which have been embarked upon by the then government through this and which was uh, channelized through this IBDLP, Basin Development Program. We have livelihood access program, access to market program, Meghalaya, Meghalaya livelihood access to market project. That means livelihood is connected with market. Livelihood is connected with various activities, trading, etc. Et and therefore, everything, like you are talking about MITP, you have to ask the government, what is MITP? Meghalaya Integrated Transport Program. Under this program, you are seeing the government embarking upon construction of roads. Why? Because integrated transport, that means it is beyond constructing roads, including livelihood, creating access to market. You know? So what happened to those initiatives? Why have the government not utilized this fund? As I have always tried to draw the attention of the government and say that please look at the low-hanging fruits. There are low-hanging fruits. There are already funds available, which has been initiated by our government to get access to number of funds from World Bank, Asian Development Bank, Japan International Corporation Agency. In numeral initiatives, when you integrate them, funnel them in a manner it is designed, you will see ample opportunities created for life on a sustainable basis. That is what I have talked about. What have they done in the five years? Why are they not uh, as designed? Why are they actually engaging in a political and depriving people are supposed to be our You have heard the former MLA of Africa talking about this nepotism as they try to implement this uh, so called focus and focus part. Please remember that this program is to be covered in the We have initiated this program. We are the authors of this program. As I have said, in order to ensure that they will come speak back to their poverty levels after having been lifted from their poverty, you must ensure that they are bringing up. That has been what was designed by the Indian government, and that is what is supposed to be given as a with all the mass we are trying to talk to everybody, we are trying to get in everybody as members of one family, members of the number of Congress forever. And when, once we are in the family, then we decide among the brothers, you know, among the parents, among the brothers. You know, like uh, two of us, two brothers, the moment we are two brothers, then we decide together. That's how we do it.